Welcome to Paraben's E3 platform webinar on processing Facebook data. There is no doubt to the value of Facebook data when it comes to looking at different social media platforms. With over 1 billion people on Facebook, this is a valuable area of evidence for both digital forensics as well as OSINT investigations. The data you collect can help with both of these types. When we look at the valuable data you can get from Facebook, let's look at the perspective of the actual social media platform. First off, of course, you can collect the data that you provide into the platform in order to join. You also collect the networks and connections, your data usage that you have, information about transactions you might have made while in the platform, things you might be doing, liking, etc., any of the device details, which are any of the devices you use to connect into the social media platform, and then information that happens with different partners that are available in the platform as well. When we look at the forensic collection of Facebook data, we collect it from three different areas. First, we can collect it from the device. The second would be the cloud. And the third is the social media backup archive. When we look at the device, the area that we collect from is typically done through a logical acquisition. This is the most common acquisition type that you do with both Android and iOS devices. The second option is with custom acquisitions. The custom acquisition allows you to go and focus your acquisition on both the file system and the app data. The value of this is that it is a much faster acquisition, so if you have a limited access time associated with the device, you can do a custom acquisition, and it's typically done in less than 15 minutes. The second area we look at is the cloud account data. With the cloud account data, you can collect with two different options. You can collect it with credentials that you might have for the account, or you can collect it with keys that you collect when you do your mobile acquisition. Those keys happen with logical acquisitions. We call those authentication keys. When those authentication keys are put into the E3 platform, the credentials associated with those keys come up and allow you to authenticate into the cloud. With both cloud options, make sure you receive consent from the user to be able to access this data since you are working directly with the Facebook cloud. The final area is the social media backup archive. These archives are a new area for data to exist in. The value has come from different compliance requirements with both GDPR and the California Data Protection Act, which allow you to generate these archives. When you generate these archives, you must have the credentials associated with the account in order to generate the archive. Typical archives take 24 hours or so to generate. Once they're generated, they can be downloaded from the account and you can process them inside the E3 platform. Now we're going to have Edwin, the E3 avatar, walk you through each one of these forensic collection options from the device, from the cloud, and with the social media backup archive. With each one of these options, you'll see the valuable data that you can collect when it comes to social media backups from Facebook. Please note some of the options that are available, such as the social media backup archive option, is available free with the E3 platform. The other options are available with different licensing choices. Make sure you sign up for our social media processing book available on our website. Hello, I am Edwin the digital avatar for Parabin's electronic, evidence, examiner platform. I will be your guide as we explore the powerful and intuitive functions of E3. This video demonstrates how to acquire Facebook data, using three different approaches. To acquire Facebook data from a mobile device. Select, start acquisition, and click the icon of the device connected to your PC. Select, Custom Logical Acquisition, then select, File System, and Installed Applications. Click Continue, select, Unlock the File System, and begin the acquisition process. Once the acquisition is complete, navigate to the, Application Data Folder, and select, Facebook Folder. Here you can find information about settings, including recovered data, current user information, and contacts. The amount of data will vary, depending on how much the Facebook app has been used. The second acquisition method is, importing Facebook data from the cloud. Begin by selecting, Cloud Import. In the, Cloud Data Import Wizard, click, Add Account, 
and select Facebook as the data source, then enter the Facebook account credentials. Click Authenticate, and then, select the data to be imported. Once the import is complete, navigate to, Cloud Data Import. Here you will find information about the user's profile, education, the list of Facebook friends with their account details, all received notifications, news feed information, and conversations. The photo albums stored in the account are also available for viewing. The third acquisition method is, importing from the social media backup. The fullest scope of data from a Facebook account is available in the backup archive. This is generated, and downloaded, directly from a Facebook account. To generate an archive backup in, HTML or JSON format, go to the Facebook settings, select, your Facebook information, and then click, download your information. Set the backup parameters and click, create file. Once the archive backup is ready, it will appear on the, available copies tab. To add the, Facebook backup as evidence click, add evidence, select social media backup in the social media category, and click, OK. Select the downloaded Facebook backup archive and click, open. Enter the desired evidence name and click, OK. Once the backup is added to the case, you can view and analyze its contents. In a typical archive you can find information about comments posted by the user, both in their own post, and posts of other people. The list of friends whose profile can be accessed via the links in the file, and any sent friend requests. A full list of users' posts, irrespective of privacy settings. Comments the user liked, the user's photos and videos, search history, security and login information, and more. All of this information is mostly displayed as HTML files, and can be viewed in the, file viewer. Images can be viewed both in the, file viewer and, thumbnails viewer depending on the file type. 